Okay, we have here, oops, sorry, we have here on the wire a um, kestrel. Let me turn off my car. <coughs> sorry, I'm going to zoom in again. Oh, he just left. Went up in those trees over there. Okay, so the car can go back on. Sorry, I should zoom out before I do all this. Okay, so I saw him. Went up into a tree here. Kestrels like wires. You'll often find them on a wire. Other than that, I don't, I don't know. Did you see him anywhere? <coughs> no, I think I'll find him on a wire. Oh, there he goes. See how he's got a thin tail. He's way up there now. I don't know if I can zoom in on him or not. I don't think so. No, he's, he's gone up on the thermals. You see, here we are on the edge of a hill. This is quite a steep hill. And so the thermals would go up from here. Oh, let's see if I can zero in on him. It's near where the wires cross. No, he's gone again. Oh, there he is, down below there. Okay, he's really going far. It's impossible. Nope, he's gone. Okay, that was an American kestrel. So the kestrel has, it has some lines down the side of his, his head. He's a very straight, I can see, show you in the book if you wish. Hold everything. Now it looked like the sharp shinned hawk. See that one right there? Uh, but I do believe it was a kestrel. But analyze the video, because I could certainly be wrong. It won't be the first time, and it won't be the last time. Okay, so this is the American kestrel. Now, they see, the places I have seen it are in beaches of South Walton, Florida, um, in Mazatlan, Mexico, <coughs> oh, snowing again, <coughs> shouldn't act like that, okay, Jackson, Wyoming, uh, Bell's Corners, what does this one say? P E R Oh, Perth, Ontario, and King's Ranch in Texas. Those are the places I've seen the kestrel. Beautiful bird, isn't it? Usually you can just see dark and you can see the stripes on his neck. The side of his head. 
But usually, because they're up on the wires, usually they just look dark because they're against the sky. Okay, that's the kestrel. He's, let me see what it says about him. The smallest and most common falcon. This book is a golden, golden book's guide to field identification, Birds of North America. This is the best book ever. It's better than Peterson's because you see it has, it'll have the map, the stuff about it, and the bird. You don't have to go find it all in different places. The smallest and most common falcon in open and semi-open country. The only small falcon with two whiskers on each side of face and the only one with a rusty back. Hunts from poles, wires, or trees. Frequently hovers. Eats primarily insects. Sharp call. Killy, killy, killy. See, now that is what you really need to know is that call. Killy, killy, killy. <coughs> <coughs> because once you know the call... You can you know what you're looking for. You hear that call, you say, "Oh, that's a kestrel," and so you know to go look at the wires. It's snowing again. What is with this? This is Mother's Day, the 10th of May, 2009. Shouldn't we be done with snow by now? Well. One wonderful consolation is that it won't stick. Hey, how come you're not zooming in? Hmm. Why? You should be coming zooming in. There we go. Back to normal. See? Snow, snow, snow. There's a snow clump on the window. And that is what snow looks like when it falls on your window. But you didn't expect, oh, it's beautiful. Wow, isn't that a delicate photo? Beautiful colors, beautiful shapes. Okay, so snow is good for something. I think I'll zoom in on that and take a photo of it. Isn't that a beautiful, oops. There, another pretty photo. Okay, goodbye. I gotta go take a photo.